President Donald Trump gave a warm embrace Wednesday to an eight-year-old boy from Indianapolis with muscular dystrophy during the signing of a bill that will allow terminally ill patients to try and prove in drugs. Trump distributed pens after signing the legislation, and Jordan McClin got up out of his wheelchair to embrace the president. The youngster drew laughter at the White House ceremony when he put his elbow on the table to hold up his chin while Trump shook the hand of another participant. The president then turned to McClin, hugged him, and kissed him on the forehead. He's going to be fantastic, Trump told McClin's mother. The legislation, known as the Right to Try Bill, will allow people diagnosed with life-threatening conditions who have exhausted treatment options the ability to gain access to improving drugs without first getting permission from the FDA. New drugs normally undergo years of expensive testing before manufacturers seek and gain FDA approval to market them. There were no options, but now you have hope, you really have hope, Trump said, adding, for many years, patients, advocates and lawmakers have fought for this fundamental freedom. The Associated Press contributed to this report. U.S. During the signing of a bill allowing terminally ill patients to try and prove in drugs, President Donald Trump gave a warm embrace Wednesday to an eight-year-old boy from Indianapolis with muscular dystrophy. Right to try, terminally ill, muscular dystrophy, bill signing 196, Wednesday the 30th of May 2018, 3.33 p.m. 201833, 3.0 Wednesday the 30th of May 2018, 3.33 p.m. News Max Inc., News Max Inc., News Max Inc.